Assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims and uh, peace be unto all the non-Muslims. Yeah, as I was saying, I know it's not your fault. All of it ain't yours to blame. You know, you're born into a council state. It's grey and dull. There's urine in the lift. The lift is never working. No. Um, there's spit all over the buttons and the intercom to get into their building. No. It's almost like they're painted purposely like that to keep you down. And I know you've never had, you know, like a father around to basically say, hey son, you know, here's my trade, you know, this is how you fix, you know, uh, a washing machine. This is how you, um, what is it, learn how to build a wall, you know, this is how you learn how to, you know, fix plumbing, you know, this is how you, you know, um, uh, fi fix electrics, you know, I know, and I know you've never had someone, like, who pushed you after college, pushed you even through college, maybe, maybe your mum did, but she was so exhausted and tired with, you know, working her two jobs and, you know, trying to make ends meet that she tried, but you could always see she was, like, tired and stuff. And I know maybe no one in your, you know, in your family has ever been to university, you know. And people in your area see if you go to university and selling out or acting white or whatever. But I just want to say, bro, before you go down this life of crime, you know. Because I know in your block the people with immediate money are the, like, drug dealers, the f fraudsters. You know, the gang members and stuff. I know you see their nice rides. You know, you see their, their bling, their jewellery. You know, you see their nice clothes. And you want it, you know. And I know it seems long. Going to college and finishing it, then going to uni seems long. Going to learn a trade, it seems long. But I want to ask you. Out of all these people who are robbing, stealing, shotting or whatever. Um... Or even into music, yeah, which is Haram in Islam. But which one of them own their own house? I can guarantee you, there's not one person around your age, or um, even I'd say like ten years older, who's got. You might have a Lex, you know what I'm saying. You might have a Merc. You might have uh, a nice car, yeah. He might even have enough jewellery. He might have, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, nice clothes. I guarantee you not one of them has got a house. And the average price of a house now is 300 grand. So, really, it's an illusion that these guys are rich. They're living at home with their mother. They have a Mercs, yeah, or a Lex, and they live and share a room with their mother and how many retired criminals do you know like ask yourself how many of these criminals that these people you see hanging out and stuff like that that don't work and stuff like that and got money and stuff how many of them got a pension own their own house you know what I'm saying um, you know got shares in property how many none and the reality is Bruv, is that you going to jail, um, you going to crime, to make big money, you got to do big moves. If you do big mo moves, you're going to have to go in and out of jail regularly. That's what's going to happen. There's no way you're going to do big moves or not going to jail. You know? And with big moves comes big time. So, I'm asking you, look at the older ones from your gang, look at the older ones from your group, and see what have they got. Do any of them own their own house? No. And you'll see that when these guys get older, when they start getting to their 30s, start getting to their mid-30s, they're going to have to get back into the 
working um, cycle because what they're gonna do start robbing banks banks when they're 40 what what do credit card scans at the age of 35 what they're gonna do be jumping tills you know what when they're in mid 30s sooner or later they're gonna have to get back into the cycle of working and if they don't they're just gonna end up going to jail you know do you want to be in jail when you're 40 years old See, this is just some things for you to think about it's most probably not gonna affect anybody but I'm just putting it out there bruv if you're walking around strapped yeah you're you're just another human being there's no such thing as a bad man, a rude boy, a heartless prey. You're flesh and blood and water, and if you get shot, you will die, or you'll go to hospital. That's it. So either, if you carry on the crime and gun flex, what's going to happen? Either you're going to have a rep for a little while and then get shot, or... Yeah, you're not gonna ever get a rep and get shot straight away, or you're gonna end up in jail. And you can only do that for what is it? Till your what? Maybe your thirties, and then eventually you're gonna have to stop and find work anyway. So, bruv, this is just some advice to you. Either you work hard now when you're young, or you work hard when you're old. And I would advise you to not to follow the crowd because the crowd are not going to be with you in jail when you're doing 25 years for murder. Look at this guy that a boxer got killed the other day because he was in a bar or something and he asked someone to put out a cigarette and because it was no smoking zone. The man shot him. They arrested someone today, um, yesterday or the day before, 22 years old for the murder. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But the guy, whoever shot him, is a young guy. He's most likely be around that age. So for five minutes in your head, and only in your head, you was a bad man. Yeah. Because in everyone else's head, they just thought so it was stupid. Yeah. And now for the rest of the, your, the next 20 years, the next 15 years, the next... However long they're going to give you, you're going to be in jail like a bum. Not in control of when you want to go to the toilet, have, sorry, have a shower, have a meal. Your, your life... Like... Your life is obviously in God's hands, but your life and the restrictions are in people, prison governor's arms. You don't, if they're not going to let you have a shower, you ain't going to have a shower. If they ain't going to let you go for lunch, you ain't going for lunch. If they don't want to let you out for your association, you ain't going out for your association. So how much of a bad man are you going to be when you're in jail? And you have no power over anything that happens in your life. You're an irrelevant human being. And I'm just saying this because, you know, um, I hope that you just think about it. Think about what you're doing. Why would you want to shoot another person? Why? What? What, what is it? What? What is it? Like, especially strangers. What? Because someone stepped in the shoe, you want to take them off? You want to shoot them and take their life? Because someone's looked at you wrongly or wears a different colour from you, you want to take his life. How did, what like, how does it make sense? I just say uh, Alhamdulillah that Allah saved me, you know. And I embraced Islam. Because I can see now. And I just hope you can see too. So to all of you guys who are going through struggles, doing the gang thing or this, that or the other. You want to talk to someone who's lived a little bit like it and stuff like that. I'll lend you an air. Just private message me. We can talk. There's always a way out. Don't be afraid.